India and France are all set to sign the agreement for the joint development of a 125 kN thrust class engine for its 5.5 generation AMCA program within the next two months period, and the DRDO and Safran are confident that the 125 kN engine will be ready for flight tests before 2029. The increased 125 kN thrust instead of 110 kN thrust will compensate for the drop of 10 to 15% thrust that every turbofan engine faces in the Indian dry and humid conditions, and it also means that it will act like a 143 kN engine in cooler conditions. The AMCA Mark I will have 25 ton all up weight and this 125 kN engine will give it an impressive thrust to weight ratio of 1. Chances are that the 125 kN engine will not be an uprated variant of the older French M884 variant, and will be an entirely new engine, since reduced radar signature improved heat management and climatization to Indian conditions are some of the requirements that the Indian Air Force won't compromise for its AMCA program. This new engine will also be sufficient to power the AMCA Mark II and other future variants, that will have an all-up weight close to 28 to 30 tons. It is also possible that the DRDO and Indian Air Force has agreed to use this 125 kN engine as a common engine for all its future fleet that includes the Super Shukhoi Tejas Mark II and Ted BF aircraft, that will make this project more viable and profitable to the involved companies. Russia had recently backed out of the 45,000 crore rupees project 75I program of the Indian Navy, but had offered three upgraded kilo-class submarines, on which experts have said that Russia has already supplied China with the upgraded kilo-class submarines, and China has successfully incorporated some of the features of the kilo-class submarines into its Yuan-class submarines, and China is already exporting eight of these AIP-equipped submarines to Pakistan, due to which this Russian upgraded kilo offer will most likely not suit India's naval requirements. They also said that the Russian refusal to bid for the Project 75I was expected, as Russia is increasingly shifting from a Russia-China strategic partnership to an alliance, and Russia and China had also started joint design of a new generation non-nuclear submarine in 2020. The Bengaluru-based company Rossil Texas has won a major contract from Boeing, to manufacture and supply electrical wiring and interconnect system for the T-7A Red Hawk. Manufacturing will take place at Rossil's Center of Excellence in Bangalore that has been established exclusively for Boeing, and the deliveries will continue through till 2032. The T-7A Red Hawk is an all-new advanced pilot training system designed for the U.S. Air Force that will train the next generation of fighter pilots. Indian Navy's advanced diving support ship Nirikshak has arrived at Sri Lanka's Trincomalee port, for facilitating diving training to the Sri Lankan Navy during the 10-day deployment. The ship is fully capable to undertake rescue operations from a submarine in distress, as well as training of saturation divers. Thailand's procurement of three S-2060 diesel-electric submarines from China has hit rough seas, as German company MTU Engines has refused to supply engines to power the first submarine. China will soon offer to replace the German engine with Chinese engine, but Thailand authorities are already prepared to stop any move to replace the engine type stipulated in the contract, as the engine change could lead to a glitch in the submarine, putting naval officers at risk. The procurement of two other submarines valued over $650 million is also stuck.